Back to the comics and I'm back. This time I want to show you some of the packages that came in the mail recently. Got a few packages here and uh, a nice little purchase from um, over the weekend. I went to a car show, like um, a die cast car show. So um, if you're interested in seeing what I picked up this week, stay tuned for that intro. Okay, so welcome back if you haven't already please don't forget to like share and subscribe hit that bell notification so when i do put out some content you get in a timely fashion all right so uh like i said ended up getting a few packages in the mail uh one of the packages i bought i want to say about a month ago i just haven't had the chance to unbox it um the other package came in this week and then uh, i have that small uh purchase from the uh, diecast car show so uh, I'll show that off first. Um, if you haven't had the chance to watch my recent beer and comics episode, I uh, opened up some cool comics and beer from the monthly beer subscription. I'm actually drinking one of the beers right now. It's the uh, Lake Escape uh, Kolsch. So uh, check that out as well. Um, just haven't had the, the opportunity to put up as much video or as much content as I wanted to lately. Just been very busy and just have not had the opportunity. So uh, the plan is to get a couple of more videos out. I am going to uh, Terrificon uh, this weekend. I'll be there on Saturday. So if you guys are uh, local or if you're flying in or whatnot, going to um, Terrificon, let me know. Message me on IG. Hopefully we can hang out. <clears throat> excuse me and um, do a little bit of hunting and just chatting so I'm um, looking forward to that as well all right so I'll open up the uh, package after I show this off so ended up going to so my gym actually hosted a diecast car show uh, this past weekend Saturday and Sunday and um, I went on Saturday and it was it was pretty nice I was you know Pleasantly surprised. They had a nice setup there. There was a bunch of vendors. Um, it was all, like I said, diecast. I'm not too familiar with the diecast car community. Obviously, I, you know, bought a lot of diecast cars when I was a kid, but um, not so much recently. Um, but I took the little guy down there, and he had a blast. We were looking around. I bought him. Um, what I buy him? A diecast car from the uh, movie Cars. Um, so he liked that. It was like a Lightning McQueen, you know, like uh, version of that. And uh, one of the guys there won a raffle and he ended up giving him like a five car set. So that was really cool. Um, I ended up looking through a bunch of the booths and uh, I picked this up. This is um, from Hot Wheels. This is Masters of the Universe. Thought that was pretty cool, you know, comic related. Uh, they had a bunch of stuff there. Um, from comic books, they had some like Thor and um, Iron Man, like die cast, you know, cars. Thought this was really neat with the Masters of the Universe. Um, this one came with eight different kinds for this specific model. Ended up getting the uh, minivan because I, I liked I liked the graphics on it. It looked pretty neat, and uh, I only paid five bucks for it. It's um, a custom '77 Dodge van. Looks pretty neat. So paid five bucks for that. <laughs> it was a fun time. Um, and the little guy had a blast. So that's what matters. So now I'm going to open up the uh, slab. Ended up buying this from uh, Steve, Burke Family 54 Comics. Um, a month ago, he was trying to, you know, sell some books. Because I know he's working on getting one of his personal grails. So I saw that he had this one offered up he messaged me and I was like yeah I didn't even uh, I didn't even think twice I was like I'll buy it it's uh, a fun series um, I've been not reading it all the way through um, you know just trying to catch up with certain issues when I can but um, it's been a, a really good good series if you like conspiracies and stuff like that uh, I'm pretty sure you've been reading this series it's on um, I think it's image 
yeah, I'm pretty sure it's image that's doing the, uh, the series. But um, he uh, <clears throat> he had a bunch of stuff for sale, and uh, he's currently doing a raffle for his uh, Marvel Spotlight Five. So if you're interested in First Ghost Rider, um, check that out as well. Hasn't been uh, getting too much traction on it though, which I'm kind of surprised for a book like that. Um, so, <laughs> oh, I forgot about these. So he, he threw in these uh, these koozies from um, uh, a wedding he went to, one of his buddy, uh, Mike V. Um, <laughs> it says Mike and Shelby on it. So uh, congrats, guys. Um, I did not know this was a thing in the Midwest, so uh, as a gift. In the Midwest, they do custom uh, koozies. So uh, in the Northeast, that's not a thing. But um, so that's something something I learned. So <laughs> he had a bunch of these. He threw these in, which is kind of random if you ask me. But uh, that's that. Um, <clears throat> try to speed this up. This thing is well packed. No worries whatsoever from the post office that this is going to get damaged. Oh, you even put it in between two Geminis. Look at that. Wow. That's pretty cool. Let me uh, open these up. Just to make sure. Okay, cool. So just to separate them. Because <clears throat> I have a tendency to uh, over slice with the box cutter and then cutting books. I've been... I've done that in the past, <laughs> so I gotta be careful. Uh, all right, so here's the book. There we go. Uh, all that crap aside. All right, so uh, here's the book in question. It's from uh, Image. Like I said, it's a fun, fun series if you like conspiracy series stuff, uh, stories. And uh, this is um, Department of Truth, issue number one, at uh, CGC 9.8. Uh, I believe this is the, yep, yep, cover B. This is the Jenny Frizen cover, which I like this cover. I prefer this cover actually over cover A. But surprisingly, this cover does not go for the same price that cover A does, which which is a bit surprising. But um, that just means I get this for a good price. Um, so, you know, I'm an avid sayer. If you can get 9.8s under 100 bucks, it's a win all day. Um, I paid, what was it, 65 bucks, 60 something bucks, something like that. So it's a great price. Um, love the series. And uh, it's a great cover. Like that. There's the back cover as well. So um, that was the uh, CGC purchase. So I'll put that aside. I'm a, I like reading the indies. Indies is definitely my favorite thing to read right now over Batman, uh, over, Batman over um, Marvel and DC. So, uh, I like that, and who knows, this supposedly talks of a getting option, who knows, but not keeping my hopes up, it's just a fun fun series altogether. Um, the last thing I want to unbox is a book I purchased this past, what was it, last week? Yeah, last week it came in the other day. Um, this is another Golden Age book. I uh, picked it up on my buddy's uh, auction on IG. Always has fantastic books at really reasonable prices um, on Hiram's auction. And uh, he had some really good um, books that night, as he usually does. And uh, once in a while, he does those quick flash sales for like 100 bucks. So uh, ended up pouncing on one of those. I wish I could get more, but... So you know, sometimes there's that lag on uh, your phone or your laptop, depending on what you're using, and uh, you can't get it quick enough. So, uh, <laughs> you know, it was one of those where I was like, all right, I know this book is going to be something obscure. And uh, there was a bunch of them, too. It was like a, a Hulk. Uh, what was it? Incredible Hulk 101 that came up, and I thought I had gotten it, but I didn't. And then the next book came up was the, this one, which I ended up winning. And uh, this is actually a really cool book. It's um, pre-code. 
and it has that almost like not like pre-code horror but pretty close to it with the uh with the cover when you see it and uh, and it's a final issue and you know i'm a avid collector of final issues and runs because they're usually very low print and um and they're always you know much harder to get in the wild so um and this is actually a book i don't you know a, a series that i don't currently have so this is the first one i have in my collection and uh it's also a first appearance um, so this is from Master Comics, uh, Fawcett Publishing. This is uh, Master Comics, issue number 133. It is, like I said, the final issue, and it's also the first appearance of Bill Battle. Um, don't know who that is, but uh, <laughs> it is a first appearance. Um, I just like the cover. It's a great cover. I like the, you know, I like that really cool graveyard scenes you got this guy here with a bayonet a really nice full moon you got a bat flying and you got uh captain marvel jr hiding behind a tombstone really cool i like it um graded at he has a graded at a four five which is actually not bad yeah it's like a four or five quick a quick glance um, I have to look it up, open it inside and stuff like that, but I think it's a great cover. Let me know what you guys think. That's my haul for the week. Um, like I said, I'm excited for Terrificon. I'm going to have some, hopefully make some content for Terrificon, but more importantly, I'm more excited to just meet the tons of community members that are going to be going there this weekend. So, uh, like I said, if you guys are going this weekend, specifically on Saturday, hit me up. Let's hang out. Let's have a beer. Let's talk. Let's hunt. Let's have a good time. Um, until next time, Mark Spectre Comics.